What is good y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today is the first episode in Scott's Adventures in Cooking. So I saw this recipe on uh, YouTube. It looked very simple, looked delicious, easy to make. So I was like, all right, let me try cooking. So, Because I, I make very basic meals at home when I'm eating during the week. But I was like, let me experiment, see if I can't broaden my horizons, you know, add to my little, uh, you know, my resume. I'm trying to be more well-rounded, know how to cook. I said, one, I love food, um, but I'm not really an expert cook. So I'll show you guys the video briefly of me cooking, and then I will get to enjoy this meal, see how it is, and I'll get to let you know what I was thinking while I was uh, recording and where I kind of messed up a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. I'm gonna, get, again, I'm pretty sure some people in there that like cook a lot or know about like, cooking. Like, Scott, why'd you do this? Why'd you do that? I, I'll tell you my mess up, but I do wanna just taste this chicken. It looks good. And I want to see, the most important part is, you know, how does it, how does it taste? That's really, at the end of the day, what matters. So. I'm not even good at this thing. This thing takes forever to focus, guys. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. But you get the idea. It looks, it's, it's chicken. We, we get it, right? But let's... Uh... Mm. So the link to this recipe is down below. Now, where one thing I messed up I forgot what to put one ingredient in because like when that stuff is cooking it, it was on high heat it is sounds violent and I'm just like oh my god I'm, I'm panicked that the house is gonna burn down I'm gonna you know tear up the kitchen but I forgot to put in the apple cider vinegar no harm no foul this still tastes delicious mm. I'm not one to take a lot of pride in myself but for a first time try I did pretty pretty good I feel like Again, the person who does this, I have their link down below. Um, I believe it's a girl. She has a cooking channel. Now, the soy sauce, the garlic, everything's very well balanced. Mm. 
So I'm thinking about making this a regular thing on the channel, you know, me trying to cook. And I think I'm going to try, I'll try this channel again. Anything with an easy recipe. If anybody wants to leave links uh, for any like simple, easy to do uh, type recipes, I'm absolutely down. Please uh, leave them below. And please, guys, don't be too harsh on me. I'm not, you know, I'm not well versed in cooking. I know some people are. I hold my fork at a weird angle because way I'm sitting. One thing I like that she did in the video was she like cross cut the chicken. I never really saw that done before. And it gets the flavor in there. Yeah, the apple cider vinegar I missed. I mean, when everything is going on so violently, you're, you know, you're like, oh my gosh. I may have let it go a tad too long and also something else I did kind of it wasn't a mistake it was kind of just a misjudgment I wish I had a bigger pan I, and I think I do have a bigger pan I just I just was like all right this one's gonna be good enough if I had two pieces of chicken in there it would have been perfect but I went I kind of overdid it by having uh, three in there but Now I know where I messed up before. I just got to take my time a little bit more. But overall, very good. I am happy with myself. Like I said, I'm just trying to learn how to cook. Add that to my repertoire as a single guy. I'm, you know, it's good. It's a nice little thing to know how to have, to know how to cook. Like, Because my meals are very basic. During the week, I might make a ziti or something like that to take me out for a couple days. Impossible burger. Cut up some, like, some potato fries. But it's very, very simple. But... Now, thankfully, the grocery store I go to, they sell halal chickens. I don't like our typical processed chicken. I'm not going to get into all that, but they make they have halal chicken there, which is doesn't have all the hormones, all that stuff in it. It's absolutely uh, very good, very delicious. Now, one thing I didn't make a mistake of, once I got done, not, well, in the middle of while I was cooking, I realized I forgot to get rice. I'm on a little side with it, so I forgot to get rice. I run over to the grocery store real quick. While this is simmering, cooling down, all that. And I come back in the house after I go to the grocery store and this the aroma just smells, you know, it smells like my grandmother's house. It, sm it smells so good. And I also wanted to do a little cooking video, you know, with Thanksgiving being tomorrow. I wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. No, I don't like the history of the holiday more than anyone else. However, I do look at it as a time to uh, spend time with my family, enjoy with them. Now, I do have to work tomorrow. I'm not going to get into that, but it's a little bit upsetting. But I will be spending the time after, well, before work, because I work night, um, before work with my family. Which I'm looking forward to seeing them, of course. And the big game this weekend, Ohio State playing the Wolverines of that team up north. Since they bailed out of the game last year because they knew they were going to get slaughtered, they, uh, you know.
they got a better team this year, so they figured, you know, we'll play this year. We're not going to use any excuses to bail out of it. But I find myself not watching as much sports as I used to. I don't know if anybody's ever gone through this. I grew up watching sports. I still love sports. I still watch football, all that. But I, you ever find yourself, like, caring less about things that don't concern you or you that you're not interested in? Like, you know, I don't really care who lo wins, who loses. I don't really, you know. But it's it's really, again, for me, it's time to spend with other people. Now, I used to watch the Ohio State Wolverine game with my grandfather. And since he passed away, it's been a little bit not the same. But thankfully, um, my family, my mom, my aunt, we still carry on watching that game every year, which I'll be watching that on Saturday. I've also been having a good time talking about coming of age movies uh, this month. One of my favorite like little sub genres. So um, been having a blast doing that. Next month, I'll do like more Christmas and you know holiday, more fa or family just related. This movies you watch during the holidays. You know, there's some movies that people just like to that just make you feel good. And that's the time of year where people like to feel good. Apparently, is when it's cold outside. And thankfully, speaking on that, it is finally consistently cool out here. And I think it's going to stay like this finally, but we'll, we'll see. I don't know what the apple cider vinegar would add it, but I feel like I did a pretty good job. I probably could have took it out sooner, but overall I'm very happy with myself in my first effort. And yeah, I think every other week I might do this. And then if I get real comfortable, with it, maybe do it once a week, you know, and we'll, we'll, you know, just, I just like to feel things out from there. I'm very much, uh, you know, just whatever I'm feeling, that's what I'll do. Like I said, I saw this video. Um, looks simple, which it is. If I can do, if I can only miss one thing and it's still good, then it's a fairly, I want to say easy recipe, but it's something most people can do uh, in the kitchen. Amateurs. I'm, I'm definitely an amateur. Yeah, hope everybody has a wonderful holiday, whatever you're doing. Please be safe. Please be safe. And, you know, don't be drinking and driving, none of that business. You know what I mean? I don't know how families do it or, like, couples do it where they go to, like, three different, you know, holiday things, whether it be on Christmas, Thanksgiving, whatever. I, I once 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 I go to my family's house, like on a Christmas, let's say for example, again I'm not big on the background of the holiday, all that. I just again like to. It's time for me to spend with my family. That's how I look at all these holidays. The background is, you know, I don't I don't get into the historical stuff of it. Um, but for me, it's more just a time to spend with my family. I think that's what it's really uh, meant to be. But when I go over my family's house. I plant myself on like a nice couch, whatever, get myself a little spiked eggnog, whatever, maybe get a little snack plate, and I'm chilling out. I ain't moving. One of the benefits of being solo dolo. No other obligations. I can just sit there for six, seven hours, or however long, you know. Oh, I'm getting full. I'm getting full. I'll save that for my dinner later. I'm very happy with this. I think I did a very good job. I, I'm not perfect. 
You know, it doesn't look exactly like it did in the, in the video. I probably could have took it off sooner, use a bigger pan. It's all a learning experience for me. But for my first job, I think I'll give myself like a C plus, B minus. You know, I'll say I'll give myself a B minus one of it for my first time. But yeah, um, I'm going to try to do this more often. If you guys have any recipe ideas, YouTube videos, please give me the, I like the visual. I'm very visual. Right, you know, writing it down is one thing. I like to just see it done. That's the beauty of YouTube. So if you have uh, simple stuff, you know, four or five ingredients, nothing too crazy, no no rapid temperature shifting and all that business, just keep it simple. Um, and I would be happy to uh, try out some more uh, recipes. But guys, thank you so much uh, for joining me today. I greatly appreciate your time. Hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving, happy holiday, and enjoys their day. Please be safe, be well, and I will see you all soon.